probably oh oh i'm gonna use the rest of it oh hey everyone welcome back to my channel it's been about four months now so if you're new my name's katie and if you've been here before then welcome back i know i've been gone for a while um yeah i've realized that having two kids so stressful so those of you with more than two children how do you do it how do you do it um the only reason i am able to film this intro today is because albert has been taken by his grandparents for the day and the night which is i mean am i allowed to yeah <laughs> one child um so i've now got rita sat on the sofa watching some bluey if you've not seen bluey you're obviously not a parent are you i think it's quite good you actually rested on a bluey house right now um but anyways i hope you're all doing really well this oh it's moving isn't it i'm using my broken tripod because my new one is in dan's car i've asked him for i've asked him for weeks now to get it back out he hasn't obviously so i'm gonna try and find it tonight i did go in there the other day but i couldn't find it so anyways without further ado let's do my weekday meals video i do have quite a lot filmed um from the last couple of weeks so i'm gonna do seven now seven next week and then we'll be on a roll so if i do miss out like a week then i've still got a video going up i mean that's great right surely <sighs> but yeah thank you very much for sitting through this very long intro where i've just rambled i do hope that every one of you lovely subscribers who are still subscribed to me i'm surprised um i hope you're doing really well and um, yeah i hope you enjoy the video really look at me like a madman um let's get into it good evening everyone so this is the first meal back since you know i just went off the face of the planet but tonight we've got chicken nugget wraps you know one of my staples um i hope you all done good uh but yeah so i've just warmed the wraps up in the microwave and then i do have some tongs somewhere Did he? so i have used the bird's eye um chicken dippers and i'm gonna have five of those i'm hungry i'm not actually eating anything today it's one of those hot days like really hot days and you know when you're just not hungry like i, I sort of nibbled a bit on a bit of the kids dinner and i was just like no i don't know what i want didn't have any lunch but yeah i've got the bird's eye ones dan has got a mixture of the bird's eye ones and then some leftover from aldi which is like red hen or i'm not sure actually but i know that the bird's eye ones are actually lower calorie oh look they're they're the oldie ones can you see the difference in size crazy difference i've also done some wedges and um if you're wondering why we're at such a funny angle it's because i don't know where my tripod is so um you're actually balanced right now on glass right there we go that is all the nuggets dan doesn't like salad does he so he's just going to have some barbecue sauce. I'm going to have some barbecue sauce. And a bit of that. Do you want some cheese in it, Dan? Okay, thank you. No? Uh, yeah, Not eat. I don't, I don't have this word yet. I've got to look at these. Edam. Edam. So, cheese from Lidl. I did look in there. I couldn't find it. Cheese from Lidl. This is Edam. Yesterday we had this too, but I put in cheese slice. Like, you know, the... Like, oh, this country slice, which I mean, tasted better. Oh no, I need salad. It, I mean, it was all right. I've got leftover, really, really like gross looking salad. Just to go in mine. Red onion, lettuce, and wrap that up. Yeah, we had this yesterday, and it was just really fancied again, you know, just because of the hot weather. That is, look at the appalling wrap on that. Wrap that one up. Oh, it is melting a little bit. It's Edam. It's such beige food. That in there. That in there. Dan, I'm doing one of my videos again. I'm not just filming it for my own pleasure. And then... Oh, thanks. Dan's just found my tripod. Where was it? In my camera bag. Oh. Right. I'm just measuring the... The potatoes. This seems really stupid. But I've got to do it. So this is just air fried potatoes with mixed herbs, garlic salt, no, garlic powder, salt, pepper. 194 in there. Um, so, 94. Yeah, that Oh no, I was meant to go the other way. I'm having more chips than you do. And that's, that's our dinner for this evening. Which, uh, are you excited, Dan? You hungry? Yes, darling. Excellent. Eh? Hey. Ta-da! 
Good evening everyone, right on cue, the baby's crying, so you might hear her in the background, but tonight we've got brioche chicken burgers, which I've already burnt the buns in the toaster, the fire alarm just went off because of the toaster, and um, yeah, every time I put something in the toaster, the alarm goes off, to be honest, almost every time I cook, the alarm goes off, so we've got very toasted brioche buns, but they'll be fine, they'll be fine, um, got some mayonnaise, Ooh. Uh, this is, sorry, uh, uh, this is Heinz Seriously Gear Mayonnaise Light. Probably, oh, oh, I'm just going to use the rest of it. Oh, very mayonnaise. And, oh, no, I'm not going to put barbecue sauce in it. I was going to, but I don't think we need it. I've got some homemade chicken burgers. They're slightly spicy, but we're not going to tell Dan that yet. Maybe he just didn't hear me. They're just made out of chicken mint. Chicken mints, herbs, spices, garlic powder, and then rolled in some breadcrumbs, put in the air fryer. Love the air. Literally use it for everything. I've got lighter cheese slices. These ones are from Steam Breeze. They're actually lower calorie than the um, Derrily ones. Normally, normally they're cheaper, but at the moment, it's a little bit more expensive. So I went for the Derrily ones this time. Um, got that there. Done my polite as lettuce. Lettuce. Some lettuce in. Boop. And a bun on top. You know what? Might change my mind in a minute about... This looks like such a boring bun. <laughs> Might change my mind in a minute about the um, barbecue sauce. But here it is. This is dinner for tonight. Dan has snacked already. I'm not really feeling very hungry. It's again very hot. Look. Burnt bits. Ugh. But yeah got this and also for dessert another reason why we've got a small dinner i've got this triple chocolate brookie pudding that was on the clearance in sainsbury's yesterday put it in the freezer thinking we weren't going to have it for a while it came out the freezer today because there was no room in the freezer for the actual like proper freezer bit so we're going to have that tonight how much what's the damage 385 calories for a quarter blimey but yeah we've got that tonight with um they're kind of like bake away mcspicies but hmm. Yeah, we shall see. Good evening. Just a quick one tonight. We've got chicken hot dogs. Sounds very strange, I know. But brioche hot dog rolls here from Sainsbury's. Reduced to 34p. Bargain. So the kids shared one earlier and now we've got three left there. I don't think I've ever had a brioche hot dog bun before. So this is new to me. Tell me down below if you've tried brioche hot, hot dog buns. Also, tell me if you've had chicken hot dogs before. I mean, they're just chicken sausages, but. Anyways, much lower in calories. So that's why I'm choosing. I'm having two sausages. These are the heck ones. Some of them are a little bit more brown than others, but it's all good. Um, Dan has got four sausages. Just for context, trigger warning, there will be speak of calories just right now. Um, two of these is only 60 calories, 30 calories each. Absolutely amazing. Oh, should I go for three? You know what, I'm gonna be cheeky and go for three. Um, and the only reason why some are a little bit anemic and the others aren't is because I was in the air fryer and the air fryer I have, um, it sort of browns one side more than the other, so you have to like shuffle it around. I didn't do that very well. Then we have got wedges. Let me just get my scales out again. It's really annoying, isn't it? Right. So here's the wedges. Just potatoes. You know, bog standard potatoes. And they are seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic salt and some mixed herbs and then some fry light. Let's see, how about this one? Ooh, am I going to be spawn? 158. Perfect. Right. So, that, that I am going to... I'm saying? I'm going to put some ketchup and some mustard on mine. Hubbard's food store, Sainsbury's, you know, the cheap one. And French's yellow mustard, which I've had this for ages, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. So, I will do mine, and Dan can do his own. He doesn't, oh no, did you just see that? Oh, that's really disappointed me. I wanted a good squeeze, and it's all just gone over my wedges. Oh, it's still a bit watery, shake it. Oh, delish. Here's tonight's chicken hot dog dinners, um, and there is... Dan's chicken hot dog dinner's dinner. Um, yeah, we're going to tuck in. The burger last night was amazing. Dan was a bit upset he only had one, but that's all he asked for, so we'll be making them again. And I am currently in here making some chicken 
kofta kebab things. I'm not going to show you now. So this is dinner tonight. It is Thursday today. Can't, have I already done three meals? I must have. But this is lasagna, spinach ricotta, but I've made it slightly differently to normal this time. All popular. So what I've done is normally I just make like a normal white sauce or I use a jar. I used a jar of not a jar you know a pot of cottage cheese because it's a lot lower in calories but a lot higher in protein so i made like a semi white sauce with a roux and some milk i put a little bit of water in it because something from line said add water don't add water that's just a ridiculous idea um then added the cottage cheese I did say online to blend it up first but my blender didn't want to blend it i've got like a food processor i've just got like a drinks blender so yeah, it just didn't go very well. But you know what? We carried on going, made it all up, the mix bit with the ricotta and the spinach. Oh that actually I was meant to use a vegetable stock cube, didn't have any. Didn't have any stock cubes, so I had to use some chicken gravy. So it might just taste really weird. Like, I don't know. We shall see. Mmm. Add some cheese on top. It's gonna be the best bit. Grab this. We haven't had spinach and cotton lasagna for a long time. I'm hoping Dan just kind of forgets about what it's meant to taste like. Oh, we're gonna drip it. Oh, it doesn't look that bad, does it? So, dish is so hot. Cut it properly. Oh, and then we're gonna be cheeky and have some garlic bread with it. This, oh no, just drop bloody lasagna all over my camera. Oh no, one minute. Clean it up in a minute. 34p, I think these were. Yellow sticker reduced. Um, garlic bread from Sainsbury's. I will give Dan those. And that's that. Dinner tonight. I'm now gonna have to go clean my camera. Uh, we have just over half of it left. So that will probably do us tomorrow and then the kids will have some tomorrow as well. So yeah, I will tell you. Might not even have it tomorrow, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see, it won't go to waste for sure. Good evening everyone. I'm gonna take this off the sizzle now. Um, tonight's dinner is, well, Dan's having a leftover lasagna from yesterday. The kids had some as well. But I, you can fancy that, I'm going for this mango, coconut and chilli chicken breast sizzlers from Sainsbury's. We just did 50p the other day. Bunged it in the freezer. Uh, I've got half of that, which is this big old chicken breast here. I'm just going to chop it up. Is that a clean fork? No, I'm going to get a new one. I'm just going to use that one. No, I'm not. I'm going to try to use dirty cutlery. Just going to chop this up. Made a quick little salad there. Some lettuce, um, red onion, lots of cherry tomatoes, and cucumber. Just a simple one, really. And then bought some dressing. So I've just been to the gym, went to Sainsbury's afterwards, got Dan some um, brownie bites, or brookie bites, which he enjoys. And bought some kiwis. One pound five for six kiwis. I don't know if that's good. Don't really buy kiwis a lot. That's on there. Presentation, obviously, amazing. Um, but yeah, it was this would be good to yourself. Caesar dressing. It says 16 calories per tablespoon. Um, that was only pound. I thought it was pretty good. I'm just gonna go for it. Don't know what it's gonna be like with like the taste of the chicken. 45 mils I use there. But yeah. That is dinner tonight and I'm gonna dig in. Good evening everyone, it's Saturday night. I was gonna have a bottle of wine, chose not to. I might still do, I don't know, it's at the top of the cupboard so might have it. Tonight was a really easy dinner made, what's it called? Carbonara, but I used rigatoni pasta instead of spaghetti. A, Dan doesn't like spaghetti so we don't ever really have it in stock, in stock, in the cupboard. Uh, and B, we had rigatoni in. So that's what we've got. Made it with the two and a half egg um, sitch and bacon that I cut all the fat off of. And not much bacon for bacon, it was like four slices that we cut the fat off. And then a um, bit of garlic powder, bit of salt and pepper. And that was it. Hopefully it's banging. Um, I'm actually kind of really looking forward to this. How am I meant to do this the easy way? I've got the worst spoon for serving pasta. Here we go. So Albert is at a sleepover at the moment at grandparents' house. We've only got Rita, but she is still awake upstairs. Playing no court. And it's like half seven, I think. They normally go to bed at six, but we were a bit late getting back. Um, but it's fine. She's not crying. We're getting to eat our dinner in peace. 
seems like a lot of pasta. I did like 90 grams each. So 180 altogether. And that was meant to turn out into 200 gram servings each. But it seems like loads. Here we go. It's probably not the best way I've actually served this up. How do normal people serve up pasta? All that juice in there. Just lit the spoon. It's pretty good. That is dinner for tonight. Looks pretty minging really, doesn't it? But <laughs> I guess it's gonna be tasty. But yeah, we're gonna go dig in. Right, so tonight's dinner is dun 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 dun, dun beef burgers. I got these from co-op just now. I walked there because I was gonna have a chicken burger and Dan was gonna have a burger in the um freezer but i saw these because i had to get some milk i saw these and i just thought you know what i'm gonna get them pack four for three pound fifteen um and we'll have the others tomorrow most likely so i've already sorted out some lettuce some red onion and the cheese squares um this is cheese squares are these cheese squares where are you early that's the one Dairily cheese squares i've got the brioche rolls in the toaster and we have got some homemade fries chips in the air fryer here we go five minutes later i had to leave the chips in for about five minutes because they were not crispy enough for my liking so here's the brioche bun brioche buns can't speak brioche buns um sainsbury's so we've got burger each on there isn't that fabulous i think then you meant to put the cheese can't open it one. It's very pale cheese, isn't it? This um, this deli cheese. Two. Oh no, it's stuck together. Two. Da ding. A little bit of lettuce. This is from a mini. Is it called a mini gem lettuce? Maybe. May have done too much. I know Dan doesn't eat a lot of lettuce, so. Oh. Good lettuce. Right, some red onion. Perfecto. And would you like some uh, mayonnaise or anything inside the burger? Cut the onion really lazily. Lazily. So um, it was already like, already cut. So I just cut it again without taking the skin off. And then obviously I left a bit of skin on. Mayonnaise, where are some mayonnaise? Oh, uh, we don't have any mayonnaise. Burger sauce? That is up to you. I, know you. I don't like burger sauce, but if you want burger sauce. Dan, I don't like burger sauce. Right, Dan's having burger sauce. This one from the Crucial Week. After a bit of an argument about what sauce he's having. You know what, should I go burger sauce as well? Oh, so yellow. Orange. Oh, you know what, I'm going to go burger sauce too. Wow, it's like we're at a burger shop. Kebab shop. Put those on the top there. Wow, doesn't that look beautiful? Amazing. Lovely. Right, burger. Then we've got our French fries. They're not French. They're actually the chips. So I'm going to do my weird thing of weighing them out again on scales. Ow, that's really hot. Basically, the reason I do this, the 217, is because I weighed out the potato beforehand, which is 400 grams, and I want to make sure I put the right amount of food in my tracker. So 105, one, yeah. So on the chips, we have salt, pepper, and garlic powder, as always. And that, my lovely friend, that, my lovely friends, is dinner for this evening. Doesn't it look lovely? Can't go wrong with a burger, a beef burger. Unless you're a vegetarian, then have a, I don't know, a vegetarian burger. There we go, that was everything. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me below which one was your favorite. I know not everything is everyone's cup of tea. Does that make sense? You may look at my dinners and think, oh my God, Katie, what are you eating? Why are you putting that inside you? But um, we enjoyed it, I think, most days. I mean, most days we do enjoy dinner. Only sometimes I choose to more, more ice cream. Have you finished that one? Got a mini meal. Keep her quiet. I think she has, hopefully she's finished it because she's put a dummy in now and there's quite a big arm on the sofa so I can't actually see what she's doing below her head. She could just be smushing it into the sofa, which she does like to do. Um, fell off the stick, currently in her lap and she's trying to eat it. Bless her little heart. I best go sort her out in a minute. Oh no, that's what I was going to say. Let me just quickly tell you. Sometimes if we've got like bits and bobs in the fridge freezer, okay, I'll get you one in a minute i'll get you another one if we've got bits and bobs in the fridge freezer i will just throw it together like who needs a recipe uh most of the time it turns out okay but i remember a couple of years ago i made one in our old house actually so probably it was before albert was born and i mixed chicken and fish and everything and pasta and it was awful come say hi come say hi look you want a lolly 
<coughs> right, so after the ice cream palava, I've run out of memory on my card, on my phone, on my camera. So, I'm just going to finish it there. Thank you, every single one of you, for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.